What is going on everybody? My name is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over some color grading tips, showing you guys how to color grade some music video footage. But if you like this video, I'll go ahead and do more color grading videos. And as an added bonus for my first color grading video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create LUTs in Premiere Pro. And also I'll show you guys these new LUT packs that I've been working on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture. I'm dropping new videos every week. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to be updated to when I drop a new video. And also follow me on Instagram if you wanna be updated whenever I drop a new product pack. All right, let's go ahead and get into Premiere Pro. All right, so now I'm in Premiere Pro. And as you can see, I have my footage right here. If you look at my timeline, so I have two pieces of footage. I have this one right here. And then I have this one right here. These are the pieces of footage we're gonna color grade. As you can see, this one is in a flat profile. I believe it's Cine 4. And this one is shot also in Cine 4. But as you can see, these aren't exposed properly. This one looks pretty good off rip but it's not exposed properly. And this one could use some work as well. So let's go ahead and start with our first piece of footage. So we'll start right here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just tone down the quality of this. So I'll go ahead and go to one fourth, just so the playback will be better. And so the first thing you wanna do is have a color grading workspace. I've already built mine out, so let's go ahead and check it out. So I have my Lumetri tab over here to the right. I have my editing screen right here. I have my timeline on the bottom, my effects right here. So this is what I'll be using to actually help me color grade this footage. Over the years, I developed an eye on how I like to grade my footage. So a lot of the times I'll just be making my adjustments over here to the right in the Lumetri color tab and also just viewing my footage and seeing how I like it. But I'll also be going over some tips from the Lumetri color scopes that can help you out in your color grading workflow. So first things first, to adjust your workspace, all you gotta do is just go over here to window and you have everything you need right here to add to your workspace. So in my opinion, you only want the stuff that correlates to editing your color. So Lumetri color for sure, Lumetri scopes, obviously you want your tools, your effects controls, but pretty much everything else is up to you. So if you guys want a editing workspace video, go ahead and leave that in the comments and I will get on that as well. So let's go ahead and start color grading our footage. So first things first, I kind of want to brighten this up just a tad. Um, not too much, but just a tad. So maybe about right here at 0.4. So let's go ahead and toggle that off and toggle it on. So it's very subtle, but it looks a lot better. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my curves tab. I'm gonna go ahead and make a three point curve. So all you do is just go to your curves and just make three points. So you wanna make them in your highlights, your midtones, and then your shadows. And then what I like to do first, I like to drop my shadows just a bit. Nice, nice, nice. And then I just like to drop my midtones slightly as well, not too much. So that looks pretty good. And now we're having ourselves a nice corrected look. I don't really touch my highlights because I like to do that in the basic correction. So let's go ahead and start with our contrast because this is what I like to do first. So I like to go personally around 20 or 30. So I'll go 20 for now. That's starting to look better. So let's go ahead and toggle off and then on. Looks good. Now let's go ahead and preview our footage. Corrected versus uncorrected. So let's go ahead, uncorrected. So that's looking a lot better. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna bring this up just a bit to brighten it up, adjust our highlights. So let's go about negative five and let's bring our shadows down to about negative 10. So that looks pretty good. So let's bring our whites to about three. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and toggle off our Lumetri color and let's go ahead and toggle it on. So as you can see, it looks a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and brighten this up just a tad once more. So let's go ahead and toggle that off and then toggle that on. So our footage is already looking a lot better. So now that we're done correcting our footage, let's go ahead and add some color grading to it. So I like to go ahead and go down to the color wheels. So we now have our shadows, our midtones, and our highlights. So depending on the type of video that you're creating, you might want some different colors in your video. I shot this video outside, so I personally would like a warmer look to the video. So I'll come over here to the highlights and I'll start adding some reds and oranges to our highlights. So I'll go ahead and start here. I'll start dragging up to warm out our footage just a bit. And I'm kind of liking the way that looks. So let's go ahead and toggle that off and then toggle it back on. And so I like the way that looks personally. So now I'm gonna go back to my basic correction and I'm gonna go ahead and start making some adjustments again. So let's go ahead and go down to our shadows. Now I'm gonna go down to negative 30. So that starts to look a little better. And then I like to mess with the white balance and I'll just make this slightly warmer. And I personally think this is a good look. So let's go ahead and add more contrast to this. So I'll go ahead and go to 30. 
So I think that looks pretty good. And maybe bring my highlights down to negative 10. Um, maybe not negative 10, maybe negative seven. And then I'll go ahead and boost my whites to five. And I personally think that looks good. So let's go ahead and look at our before. And now let's go ahead and look at our after. I think that looks a lot better from where we left off. Maybe go ahead and make it a little warmer. So I personally like to use the white balance to make my footage warmer. So let's go ahead and play that back once more. And I think that looks a lot better from where we left off. Also guys, I don't consider myself a colorist. I consider myself a visual effects artist and editor, but coloring is also a part of the job. So we have to learn it. So let's move on to our next footage. So now we have another artist performing in front of a car. And as you can see, this piece of footage is actually pretty flat. So let's go ahead and start making our adjustments. So I think this footage could be a little brighter. So let's just go to our exposure and bump it up to 0.2 or three. So I think that looks better. Maybe 0.2, it looks solid. So now I like to go to my curves. And we're gonna once again make a three point curve. Nice, and then we're gonna drag our blacks or shadows down. That looks better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag my midtones down a little bit. So that looks solid. So let's go ahead and look at um, before and after. So this is without the curves. And this is with the curves. So our footage is starting to look a little bit more correct, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest in the basic correction tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my contrast between 20 and 30 again. So I like 20, looks a little better. So now I just wanna go ahead and get my shadows. So let's go ahead and drop our shadows down to negative 30. So that's starting to look a little better. And as you can see, if we zoom in on this footage, it's looking a little bit too contrasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my contrast down to 10, so that looks a little better. In this footage, you can see that my highlights are blown out, so instead of trying to correct the sky, I'll just focus on making the white car more white. So let's bring our whites up just a bit, so about 15, and then I'll go ahead and bring the highlights down just a bit, so I'll go to negative five, and then let's go ahead and preview what we've done, so let's toggle it off, and let's toggle it back on. So it's starting to look a little better, let me go ahead and go back to my curves. I'm gonna go ahead and drag our blacks down a little bit. So that looks a little better. Let's go back to our basic correction. And let's bring our whites up just a bit. So I think that looks a lot better. So the issue with this piece of footage is that it wasn't shot correctly, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna do something extra with this. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is try to change the color of the leaves to a more warmer color. So I'm thinking orange instead of green. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go to our curve. I'm gonna go down to this hue versus hue, and we're gonna start clicking on the green because I think we're gonna get a, a dope look if we start messing with the greens. So just grab this color picker and just keep clicking on the green in your video. All right, so as you can see, I have all these dots right here. So that means I've selected most, if not all of the greens in this video. So let's go ahead and start adjusting them to make them orange. And what you'll notice when you start moving the greens is that nothing really happens because trees or the green color is actually considered yellow. So we'll go ahead and start adjusting the yellow slider. So as you can see, it starts to change the color just a bit. So if I go all the way up, you could see our trees and leaves are turning purple-ish. So let's go ahead and bring them to the orange side. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start messing with these sliders until I get everything to look orange. All right, dope. So now we have a cool orange look. And also I wanna go ahead and make this a little brighter. So let's go ahead and go to my hue versus saturation, make a couple points right here. And like I said, they're in the yellow tab, so we gotta go to our yellows. We gotta start increasing the saturation, as you can see. So let's go ahead and make a few more points. And now let's just increase the saturation just a tad. And so now we have a pretty cool look. So let's go ahead and look at the before of the color. So it looked like that before. So let's look at after now. So that looks better. So let's go ahead and drop these midtones a little bit. So now we're getting a cool look for our video. So now let's go back up to our basic correction. And let's go ahead and drop these shadows just a bit. And let's boost the contrast by a little bit. And now let's drop the shadows again. So let's go negative 40. And so now we have a cool looking music video. It looks pretty dope. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit warmer. So if we bring it back to cool, you can see the changes that are made. So let's go ahead and bring it a little bit warmer. So let's go about five, maybe like four. So now we have a cool looking video and we can even boost the saturation a little bit more. So let's go 110. So I like the way that looks already. So let's go ahead and take a look at before. 
and then after. So now we have a cool looking music video look. And guys, if you wanna go ahead and export this as a LUT, all you gotta do is come up here to Lumetri Color, right click, and then you're gonna go ahead and export as a cube. And I'll go ahead and call it Tutorial LUT. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this. So now we have our old look again. And we just wanna input this LUT by pressing Input LUT right here. Go to browse. Then you want to locate where you have that dot cube file. And here it is right here. So all you want to do is just go ahead and press open. And now we have our imported LUT looking nice, just how we left it. Also, if you check out the screen, you can see all the LUT packs that I have. I have my new 1000 plus cinematic LUTs, my orange and teal LUTs, my thermal LUTs, and my trippy LUTs. And also you guys have known I've been working in Premiere Pro for a long time. So I also have my 1000 plus cinematic color presets. These are specifically for Premiere Pro and these LUTs are for all editing software. Guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment down below what you guys wanna see next. I'm out guys, peace. Mm -hmm.